Yes guys, welcome to a brand new video. My name is Conan and today we're gonna be going over my 90 day lean bulking transformation. So let's get into it. Before we do though, I got a special package in from my protein. So let's open her up first and then we'll get into the transformation. Let's go. Sick. All right guys, because it's Halloween, my protein are coming out with their new limited edition blood orange clear white isolate protein powder. They're actually having a sale on for 50% off your entire order. So if you've ever wanted to try their protein powders, their BCAAs, their creatine, or even their protein bars, be sure to go to the My Protein website right now. Use my code CONANNYP to get 50% off your entire order. Yeah. Anyway, let's get back into the 90 day bulking transformation. Oh, and also if you guys want to see your live taste test of this, be sure to stick around towards the end of the video and then I'll try this one out for you guys. All right, now with that out of the way, let's get into the transformation. So as you guys know, a couple months ago, I believe almost 90 days ago now, hence the name 90 day lean bulking transformation. I started my lean bulk. I believe I started this lean bulk at 135.8 pounds. And this morning we woke up at 144.2 pounds. So within the span of 90 days, we pretty much gained 10 pounds. And now looking back from my last 60 day lean bulking transformation, I actually gained four pounds in less than a month, which honestly is quite a lot. That's pretty much like one pound per week. And as you guys know, at the beginning of this series, I said I wanted to gain anywhere from one to two pounds per month, and I actually gained four pounds within a month. So honestly, that's a pretty big jump. So let's get into the physique. So side by side, obviously there is quite a big change in terms of body fat, and that is to be expected. And I'll be honest, I did gain quite a bit of body fats, especially within this month. Like again, four pounds in a month, like <laughs> That is quite a bit of like just weight put on in a month. And so obviously because I wanted to do a lean bulk, which means you want to try to minimize as much fat gain as possible while maximizing muscle gain, it is to be expected to be a quite slow process. But considering that again, I gained four pounds in like less than a month, that's probably too big of a jump. So I definitely know moving forward into the next couple of months, I'll have to kind of slow things down in terms of like gaining weight. And now it's quite funny because I actually kept my calories and like my activity level the exact same like literally i've been eating 3,000 calories pretty much ever since i started this lean bulk and just for some reason this month i gained just a bunch more just weight in general which is quite weird because even my steps and my total daily expenditure has been pretty much the same i've been getting around 12 to 15,000 steps in every single day my calories have been pretty consistent i've been following my meal plan eating roughly the same amount of calories and the same amount of food every single day for this month i just happened to <laughs> gain four pounds which is again quite funny but i do think that i made quite a big difference within my physique obviously again some of it is water weight some of it is body fat as well but i do think that some of it is muscle mass as well because especially in the gym like i feel so much stronger like i literally feel like i've never been this strong before at this current body weight like i'm pretty much as strong as i used to be weighing 160 pounds whereas now i'm only 144.2 pounds so strength wise like my strength is definitely shooting back up again i'm really happy with like my performance in a gym so that's really really good pumps in a gym are good as well i still kind of feel that clear as well so that's really good so overall i do think that even though i have gained quite a bit of weight this specific month i do feel like i've made some pretty good progress in the gym so right now i'm just going to overlay some of my upper body workout i did this morning so we started off with the bench press i'm bench pressing 165 pounds for three sets of six reps here which i mean relative to my body weight i'm not sure if that's good or not but compared to what I used to be and what I used to bench press at 160 pounds last year. I mean, it's pretty much the exact same weight I'm pushing. So I'm really happy with that. And the same thing goes for my squat and deadlift. I'm deadlifting like 325 for sets of five, no belts. Obviously I'm wearing straps, but with no belts, I'm really happy with that. My squat as well, I'm squatting like 230 pounds for sets of six. So yeah, my performance in the gym, as I said earlier, is going really, really well, really happy with that. And just my strength and all the other accessory exercises are going up as well. So on the lat pull down, the shoulder press, rows, even dumbbell curls and like tricep extensions, I'm getting stronger pretty much every single week. So moving forward, I definitely think that I gotta somehow slow down this weight of weight gain because again, it's not really sustainable to gain four pounds pretty much every single week. One pound per week, that's like 52 pounds in a year, which... I mean, I could not imagine myself being like close to 200 pounds in a year from now. So I definitely know, I mean, realistically I could, but I know pretty much all of that will be body fat. So I definitely know I gotta slow down this rate of weight gain. So definitely if I continue gaining a pound per week, over the next couple of weeks, I know I'll definitely have to cut down on the food or maybe even increase my steps. Because again, I don't wanna get super fat again. Like that's not happening. We are still doing a lean bulk, which means we're taking our time with this thing. We want to minimize our fat gain while maximizing muscle gain, obviously. 
which is like the whole point of a lean bulk. So in terms of food, I've been filming a lot of full days of eating lately, especially my TikTok and Instagram, and I've been posting shorts on my YouTube channel as well, where I basically show everything I eat. So if you guys are curious to see what my meal plan is looking like or see what types of food I'm eating, check out those videos because I've been making one pretty much almost every single day. So, and yeah, as you guys can tell, if you have been watching them, it's pretty much the same food every single day because as I mentioned earlier, I follow like a meal plan. So I pretty much eat the exact same meals every single day. And it kind of allows me to not have to track my meals on my fitness pal because as you guys would know, I went through like this whole kind of eating disorder where I was just obsessed with like tracking my food intake and it got to like a super unhealthy point to a point where it pretty much like took over my life. Like it was literally the only thing I was like worried about in my spare time. I was like on my phone seeing what types of weird foods I could fit within my macros and it just got really, really weird. So. Ever since I noticed kind of like all these weird things happening, I decided to delete my fitness pal and just follow a set meal plan because I'd rather just not have to focus about the types of foods I'm eating every single day. Because trust me, it does get pretty stressful, especially when it comes to your last meal because you're looking at all these different foods, you're looking in your fridge, you're looking at your cabinet, and you're trying to see what types of foods or cereals or whatever can fit within your macros. Whereas if you were to follow a set meal plan or something similar to that, you know exactly what you have to eat every single day. So it kind of takes all the guesswork out of it and it just kind of relieves a lot of stress because again it is just one less thing to worry about so i've been really enjoying my meal plan lately for breakfast you already know we eat our blueberry oatmeal with eggs then we'll have some chicken rice and avocado then we'll have some beef spinach and rice then we'll have some cream of wheat with some protein starch and a banana and then usually to end the night i'll have some cottage cheese with some strawberries and a scoop of protein powder so it's very simple and ensures i get enough protein in and ensures i get enough healthy fats within my diet and of course we got a bunch of carbs in our diet too and most importantly we're eating in a caloric surplus which means we're eating more calories than we burn every single day and now if you're not sure how many calories you should eat it is very simple simply just track your weight every single morning and track your food intake too and just kind of see how your weight fluctuates if you notice your weight is going up you know for sure you're in a caloric surplus which means you're eating more calories than you burn every single day if you notice however that your weight is going down or even maintaining you know that you're in a caloric deficit which means you're eating less calories than you burn every single day so it's not rocket science guys there's not this magical formula how to calculate your calories and macros it is pretty much just trial and error and just know your body and just again keeping track of things like that. So very quickly now, we'll compare my physique at 135.8 pounds with a pump to now this morning after my workout at 144.2 pounds. So again, as you guys can see, I do look a lot fuller now. I mean, my abs are still there, which I mean, I'm not super surprised about, but I am at the same time pretty surprised about considering that again, we did gain four pounds in this month but yeah no overall like again my energy levels are so much higher now my performance in the gym is just absolutely ideal like i actually look forward to training every single day because i pretty much expect to get stronger each and every workout which is just a really good feeling i mean going to the gym confident knowing you're gonna get stronger or beat what you did last week it's just a really good feeling because it gets you motivated it gets you excited to get into the gym and it just gets you pumps to just crush the weight so yeah again my performance now compared to when i started this lean bulk is so much better i'm so much stronger now and i look a lot fuller and i definitely feel like i gained a bit of size as well which is super nice as well so that's pretty much it so just to recap again we gained pretty much 10 pounds within 90 days which i mean compared to your level of experience obviously beginners can expect to see probably a bigger jump whereas more immediate to advanced trainees can expect a bit of a slower process but considering that i'm kind of like an intermediate i mean 10 pounds in 90 days it's like it's probably higher up on the scale harder than i would like it to be but you know what i'm feeling good i'm still relatively lean and yeah i'm crushing it at the gym Alright guys, the new blood orange flavor from my protein is in the shaker. Let's try it out. That's pretty good. Wow, that's actually really good. The taste kind of reminds me of like a Fanta without the fizziness. It's actually really good. If you guys like orange, definitely pick this stuff up. It's really good. 
Sorry if that scared you guys with the mask. I don't even know where I got this, but it's kind of creepy. But in all seriousness, no, this, like this flavor right here, it does quite literally taste like a Fanta without the fizzy bubbliness, if that makes sense. Like there's no like fizziness in this. It's like just, it's not like orange juice, definitely not. Fanta, like that's the first thing that comes to mind, like a Fanta or like an orange crush. But yeah, if you guys like orange typed drinks, this is the one. And what's better, it's like zero grams of fat, one gram of carb and like 18 grams of protein per scoop with only 80 calories. So, I mean, honestly, like there's, bleh, I'm lost for words. Like super good macros, super good taste and overall, a really good product so if you guys want to check it out be sure to use my code as well and you'll get pretty much 50 percent off your entire order so what are you doing stock up go to the website right now stock up and thank me later so with that said if you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to go give this video a thumbs up i would highly appreciate it subscribe to my channel if you're new and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out